Better manage without him today. Now he's gone and life goes on, Alan. Life does go on, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a big decision by the football club, but maybe they'll get a replacement in quickly. Sure. Tom Cleverley. He's kept it out. Now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. That's a fine shot, an even better save. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck, and you do have to pay attention to those. Rooney Keep an eye on the visiting team today because they're going for a fourth consecutive victory and they've defended well during that period and I think they'll have to do that here away from their own ground Offside, that's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through and tucked it away. But looking at the replay, yes, he had gone a bit early. Rio Ferdinand. Tackle here. Looking for Defoe. And Defoe, just too eager, offside. Jermaine Defoe. judged offside here close but uh, got to get the movement timed a little bit better Tom Cleverley there's an update from uh, Alan McAnally at the Britannia Stadium. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 22 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Mata. Cleverly. He might be through. What a chance now! He's got away the chance, Alan. I think he's still acclimatising, you know, to his, to his new surroundings, but if he can took away chances like that, he's going to settle very quickly. Didn't think he had time for another touch of the ball. He just hit it. Yeah, and I tell you what, it takes an awful lot of confidence to take on that shot. So many would take a touch, and then the chance is gone. That's a goal in a million for this player. He doesn't score many from these distances. It is a 
one-sided game. A resounding lead now. Go through Bonnie. In the 25th minute, Mata. 18, Rio Ferdinand. This is where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Oh, he's through. He's got the goal. All action from him, and two goals to reward him for his efforts. Well, he's got the potential to be a huge favourite with these fans and, and with his new teammates as well. And that is a goal in a million to find the top line with his laces from that distance. I cannot believe it. Good luck here again by the replay of the goal. They're dominating now. 4-0 on the scoreline. And the goal for Guthrie Bonnie. In the 28th minute, number 18, Rio sure. Ferdinand. Carrying the ball forward. Guthrie Bonnie. That's a real... And the referee's given Manchester United the free kick. Just looking at Sunderland. What about the next game, Alan? They're playing Watford in their next match in the Barclays Premier League and I can't see them winning it, to be honest. Matter. Shots on here. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Played back to Michael Carrick. Mata. Wilfried Bonny. Here's Defoe. Oh, he's had a crack here. Well, it was all about making the right connection. He just couldn't quite manage it. Zabaleta. Here's the chance to get in the cross. He shoots. Well kept the shot out. It's still in play. But it has hit the goalkeeper. And it's deflected into the net. Sunderland have scored again. They look as though they're going to win again here. What a great day for everyone concerned with Sunderland. Alan, have another look at this goal. Very one-sided today. 5-0 the score. Goal scorer for Sunderland. In the 41st minute, number 28. Tom Cleverley. Jermaine Defoe. Chance to view again. Defoe's goal. Yeah, and I don't think the keeper will want to look at this too many times because it's middle of the goal, it's, it's a decent height for him. Michael Carrick. Well, the ball has gone up to show five minutes of added time. Pablo Zabaleta. an easy decision for the assistant it's offside he's gone too early
Not cleverly. And he takes the shot. Great hands. Well, the referee has brought to an end what has been a very surprising first half. Well, football can be a game of two halves, it's an old cliche. The team that's losing need a much, much better half after the uh, turnaround. I do, I mean, they started slowly and fell away, didn't they? I mean, it's been so poor from them, but you've got to uh, applaud the winning team. Everything they've done's come off. Well, one-way traffic in that first half. It looks all done and dusted. Just can't see the hosts blowing that big lead. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first half, and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the game.